What's up YouTube, this is Tech Time Today, and I have some Age of Empires Online for you today. Uh, this is a free-to-play version of the critically acclaimed Studios. Now, uh, Ensemble Studios was recently closed down after they released Halo Wars, which was not very well received by the community. Uh, in my opinion, it was a great game. I think it was just that all these kids thought when they they saw a Halo game, they automatically bought it thinking it was going to be a shooter. They saw it was a strategy game, and they got pretty pissed off and told everyone that it sucked. And really, it was actually probably the best RTS on consoles by far, and uh, I liked it a lot. So I had a quest here already selected before I started recording the video, and I'm trying to get to it now. See, in order to get the quest, oh, here we go. In order to get the quest, go through the world map and its instances. So, a little bit different. Very fun game, though. Alright, so let's see how this goes. Alright, I'm playing as the Greeks right now. They are one of two civilizations that are currently available. Uh, the Egyptians being the other one. And then you can buy a premium pack of either civilization. But, I don't know. I don't really feel like play, uh, paying for this. I mean, I don't know. Maybe in the future I'll buy one of the civilizations, but for now this is enough. I'm not sure about the PvP in this game. I've heard rumors that the PvP... I'm, I haven't really checked this for myself. Uh, I'll check and post the annotation in this video when I find out. But uh, Some people are saying that the PvP is a lot of money to buy and play. Like Some of them are even saying it's $100 on the general chat in the bottom left. Not right now, but they were before. Uh, I doubt that that's true. But if it is, that's uh, a really steep price to pay for what should already be in the game. If that's what it's like, then I think this game does free-to-play wrong. Like, I'm not sure if that's what it actually is, but if that's the case, then... They, they do uh, ask for money on a lot of different things, so, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it really was that much money to play PvP. Now I'm gonna go see if I can attack. Oh, that they had the same idea. So let's see how this goes. And for every kill you get and every quest you complete, you get experience similar to an MMO. Uh, and with that experience, you will upgrade your civilization, unlock new technologies, get new units, things like that. And how did that ship just cross over the sand dune? If it's shallow enough for me to walk, I'm wondering how this ship is able to get across. As you can see, this is not a very difficult game, at least not so far. It's much more of an entry level game than any of the other Age of Empires were. To be honest, I am really I was really angry when Microsoft closed down Ensemble. Because I loved Age of Empires, I loved Age of Mythology, and I loved Halo Wars. There was not a game that they made that I didn't like. They were pretty much the epitome of the perfect RTS company. They made the best RTS games. Age of Mythology is actually one of my favorite games of all time. I still play it today, and I got it years ago. And as you can see, the graphics are a little bit cartoony on this one. So, not really demanding game to run. You can pretty much run this on any computer. 
Although for some reason before when I was trying to record, uh, this was running at like 20 frames per second. And I have an i5 2500 and a GTX 560 Ti that's overclocked to 1 gigahertz. So I mean, I don't know why it was slowing down so badly, it seems to be okay now. Must have been something with play cloth, but now I'm good. So anyway, this game is pretty fun. Uh, I do recommend getting it. It's it's free, like I said before, and on top of that, the download is very short, so even if you don't like it, you didn't really waste that much time downloading it. And in this game, you pick up loot. As you can see, I have a uh, armor here. I have to equip that when I get back. And here's a treasure chest just opened it. Got some copper ingots. You can use these things to build buildings in your capital. Uh, your capital is like the hub where you get all your uh, all your upgrades, things like that, and get your quests. So your capital doubles as like it's a visual, it's almost like a visual aid for you to see your progress, because as your capital grows, like, the more, the farther ahead you get, you'll see that your capital is getting bigger and bigger. So it's kind of like, it's kind of a cool thing, like, as you're leveling up and you're getting new buildings and putting them there, you can kind of see how much better you are as your capital starts to look better and better. Alright, so these barbarians are not putting up much of a fight at all. I love how these villagers are still farming when I'm just destroying their houses right now. Alright, so... Uh, what do I need to do here? I need to kill two more bandit war leaders, kill nine, destroy nine more huts, and destroy three more war lodges. So I'm gonna have to find where all those things are. Hopefully I'll have enough guys to take them all out. My guys are starting to get hurt a little bit. And guys, uh, I just bought Playclaw 2.1 today, so if you would just leave a comment, uh, Telling me how you think the quality of this video looks, that would be greatly appreciated. Because uh, I just got it for like $30 and it should be better quality than my videos were before. Tell me what you guys think. I'm recording this at uh, 1080p and 60 frames per second I have it set to. So I have all the highest quality settings in Playclaw on right now. So tell me what you guys think about the quality, it should be pretty good. I also have two test vids up right now of Team Fortress 2 and Battlefield Bad Company 2 that I posted when I first got Playclaw earlier today. So tell me what you think of those. And I should have a Crisis 2 test video up soon to see what that looks like with Playclaw running. Because that is pretty much the most demanding game I have probably. So it would be good to see how well I can run that. Alright, so we're taking out these guys pretty easily now. We have two more war lodges and two more bandit war leaders, along with a couple more huts that I have to get rid of. So let's see how long this takes. Oh wow, there are a lot of guys here. I actually might lose this. Well, let's see what happens. Nope, never mind. Looks like I'm gonna kill these guys. My guys are starting to get really low on health, though. Alright, one more war lodge and I'm done. Uh oh. That can't be good. The good thing that here though is after we kill these two guys we should be done. Oh wait now one more war lodge and then we'll be completely done. At least with 
killing actual guys. Then we'll just have to destroy those houses. Oh wow, this guy's taking me out. Taking out a lot of my guys. Alright, now time to go for... Where did this guy come from? Oh, there's the other one. Okay, that's the last war lodge right there. So once we have that down, I shouldn't really have to fight any more actual soldiers. And now to destroy the huts. That was a fairly easy level. I didn't even have to really build anything. They started me off with so many troops I pretty much just left and killed everyone. This is a Games for Windows Live title, so I will pull up the menu right now. It's basically like Xbox Live for Windows. I can see all my Xbox friends that are from when I actually had an Xbox. I gave it away recently. As I got more and more into PC gaming, I had less time to play Xbox, and I realized there was really no point in it since I enjoy PC gaming more anyway. Alright, how many more? I have to get four more huts. There are three of them over there. And one there, so that looks like it should be it after I destroy these. There is also a 2v2 PvP in this that you can party up with a friend. So I don't really, I don't know anyone that plays this game. I'm trying to get some people to play because it is a pretty fun game. And like I said before, it runs on almost any PC, so it really doesn't matter what you have. Alright, so as you can see, now that we won, you can stick around and explore and still do things. I can still kill these villages if I want to. I can destroy their farms. But we're going to leave now. And we're going to go back to the capital. Alright, we're going to hand in this quest. Can't really choose any of these because I do not have the premium civilization so we'll just take one doesn't really matter which one complete and there we go leveled up and here I gives me a chance to show you the tech tree here you can see the tech tree uh, you can upgrade economy military or utility let me see what we have here uh how many do I have? Three points I have, so you can see the cost in the bottom right of that little pop up box that comes. This one costs two. Uh which one of these should I get? Warship maybe? Archers? Uh oh unit upgrades, I like that. Yep, let's go with unit upgrades. Okay, so then we're going to accept that. And we just research new technologies. So, uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm just going to give you a quick look around of the capital city. You can see what it looks like. As you can see, there's a lot of space to expand. So as I level up and get more buildings, I'll be able to expand it. So there's really not much like actual use for the capital city like you don't actually use it to attack but it's a nice hub to just buy some stuff send messages get quests things like that alright so that's it for this video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe